Hi, I'm Tim with the Charlottesville Guide and I've got something special to show you for beer lovers. We're at Draft Tap Room on the Downtown Mall. All right, we're here with Clay, Draft Tap Room. Clay is a really nice man. He knows his business upside down and I've watched him work here with the customers. He makes everybody feel very welcome. Um, he's got the process down pat. So uh, Clay, I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and tell us Absolutely. how it works around here. We currently have 64 different taps on uh, currently going in terms of beer, wine, and cider. We tend to feature local Virginia beers, so about half of our taps are going to be Virginia based. In terms of we've got beers that are though, although they're international from around the world, in fact right now because of the World Cup we've mm. got 11 different beers from World Cup countries. Mm. We also have beers from across the country as well as many here local in Charlottesville and in other parts of Virginia. Excellent. A lot of taps, probably the most in town. Definitely. And how, how does it work in terms of getting a beer here since it's all independent pours? Sure there's thing. actually no waiter here, is there? No, there's it's not. It's self-serve. We it's entirely self-serve, right. self-pour. Okay. We have RFID cards, which we attribute to you and to your credit card or debit card. Use this then to access the taps. Yeah. Put it behind this little notch like so. The meter pops up. You then grab a glass and you pour. We've got anywhere from small glasses, little four ounce tasters, if you want to just taste a bunch of different things that you've not had before. Right. Or if you've got a particular favorite, grab a larger glass and go enjoy yourself. Right. Now when you pre-load, if you will, the value on your card. We load it by that... number of people and Virginia law allows us to give you 32 ounces of self-pour. Great, so based on what you just told us there, if you want to fill this bad boy up with one specific Pour, you can go ahead and have a drink in that size. You can. Or you, like you said, you can take any size of anything else if you want to get samples of many Absolutely. different beers. Terrific. Absolutely. And are you allowed to recharge the card after 32 you, ounces? Or? You would come to a manager. Okay. We would look and see. Uh, if you're standing up you. straight? Well, stand straight. But also, I yeah. often look to see what you've had. Right. Some of our beers are going to be, uh, we have an 18% on. Ooh. What's That's that That's usually going to be enough. What is that? That is a, uh, right now it's called Dogfish Head Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 120 Minute IPA. Mm. It's a big one. Yeah, okay. Whereas if you've had, let's say, a lot of a, of a Belgian, or say a lot of a, of a German Pilsner in particular, it's a 4% right. in much of your sets. We also see if you have any food mm -hmm. and how large your group is. Right. Okay, speaking of food, what do you serve here? Primarily it's food that goes well with beer mm -hmm. and cider. Okay. So we have a number of burgers, we have wings, we have tots, uh, we have pretzels. Yep. Good munchy food, right? Good munchy food, especially things to share. All right. All right, give us a look at how it works here then, Clay. Certainly. Like I said, you place your card in behind the notch, meter we're, pops up. We're going to do an international beer for World Cup? Why not? Let's yeah. have a Belgian double. Oh, it's dark, isn't it? It's a dark one. Mm. Then take card with 5.1 ounces. Okay. And enjoy, Tim. Good luck for Belgium in the World Cup. Absolutely. So Clay has poured us some really nice samples with great variety. I'm going to start here with a watermelon shandy. Uh, very, very light and crisp. Excellent summer beer. Uh, this one right here surprised me. This is a Belgian French wit. And when I first smelled the nose on that and took a taste, I couldn't quite get that on my palate. It turns out the flavor is coriander. That's a really nice flavorsome beer. It's very easy to drink as well. This is one of my favorites of all time. I'll drink this day and night. It's one of my fav favorite English beers. It's Boddington's. What they do here on tap is they're using nitro. So you're taking a beer that's already known for its creaminess, but when you put that nitro through it, it really is just like having a glass of cream. It's fantastic. This is the dark Belgian that we started with today. I love this as well. This also surprised me for dark beer, not usually where I go for my beers, but that's another excellent pour. And then we're going to finish off with dessert here. We have a uh, bourbon barrel stout. So I'm going to consider this to be my dessert today. Heavily roasted malts give this an incredibly dark coffee flavor. Uh, there's no coffee in it, of course, but just the way the uh, malts have been roasted, you end up with this amazingly dessert base type of beer, which is lovely. So that just leaves 59 beers left to sample, so we better get on with that now.